What's up guys, it's Dollmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to a new channel. So this is Yogg's Clips. I don't know if this is from the Yoggcast uh, channel. I've heard of the Yoggcast before. I don't know if this is the Yoggcast, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, this is Yogg's Clips. Uh, and the video is, so you want to read about the Horus Heresy. So uh, yeah, I think this is kind of a thing about like how convoluted and uh, how much of a pain in the ass it is. But I'm not entirely sure. So anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Story chart. Have you seen the fucking glorious Horus Heresy timeline chart? What? No. Oh, God. Right. You want to read the Horus Heresy, Tom? So <laughs> this is how their books fit together. How many, <laughs> how many fucking books are there? Jesus Christ. They're non they're not chronological. So if you want to read certain plot lines in certain like chronological orders, <laughs> it's all very easily contained in this fucking graph, right? So you start at the beginning with Horus Rising. <laughs> and the first four books, they are chronological. So that's easy. But things get interesting when you get to book five. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, God, I just fucking hate it. I just can't, like, I just don't care. God, fuck me. Oh my Every God. Every one of these blocks is a book, right? Yeah. And they all fuck. intersect with overlapping story plots and right. characters. Good, good for you. Good job. Like, good for you. you read all these books, go for it. I do like some Warhammer. I very much do. It's too many books. Man, even if you, like, uh, is each one of these a book? Even if you read a book a day, or I mean a book a week, this would take you like multiple years. It is too many. It's books. just too many fucking books. <laughs> read something else. Expand oh, your horizons. Wait, there's more below. <laughs> fucking sci-fi. The siege like of sci There are there's some fucking amazing sci-fi that uh, honestly, I've even the best one of these books doesn't come close to. I'm sure, there's a couple of pretty good ones in here, but fuck off. It's too many. <laughs> God, this man, doesn't even is... include the um, the Siege of Terror. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> so fucking fucked up. Jeez. But actually, if you are genuinely interested in following one thread, this is a very useful chart, and it helps you cut out all the books you're not interested in. Yeah, if you're in. a fucking idiot, yeah, <laughs> follow this chart. Good job. <laughs> Here, look, I can help you make make that chart. Look. Pain. Here, look, I'll, I'll do a new one. More. <laughs> read all the books. How, how many Warhammer books are there? Uh, how many 40k books are there? Um, they're around 462 about the 30k and 40k st st stories. That also includes audio drama, short stories, and anthologies. Okay, so that is six years ago. There was 462 as of six years ago. Jesus Christ. So yeah, if you read one a week, it would take you almost 10 years. And then by then there'd be more that have come out, right? Like. Because it's only existed for 40 years. Right, so by the time you finish that, there's probably going to be at least another 100 books out. That's just, that means there's like 10 books a year. Why? Great. Just go down. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> that. Just look, I saw I just, I just fucking solved the problem for you. You know somebody's done it too. Just fucking there. What, here's your chart. Want there's, to read all the... There is some autistic super fan somewhere that's 100% done this. Boots? But what if I want to just read uh, the ones that have my my favorite boy in? What if I only want to read about the Chad Marines that fuck? You know, now I can consult the charts and find out they're here. They're these blue ones over here. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you hate this. <laughs> oh, I do. I do fucking hate it. It's I... so well made as well, though, you know? No, I respect... You know what the thing is? you The person that made this had to have read these to know this. Right? 
That means they've read all of these, at the very least, all of these. This chart more than any of the books <laughs> that it comes. I think this is a more valuable thing than those books are. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I get it. Like, some people really, really like the Horus Heresy, and you totally can enjoy it. Yeah. I personally really don't like the Horus Heresy. <laughs> I like the I like the eth, the mythos of it. Yeah, you like it as like a myth and a like yeah. a tale, like a one thing that you can tell in a couple of paragraphs. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not. I was gonna say, how can you like 40k and not like the Horus Heresy? Like the entire 40k universe is based on the Horus Heresy, right? Like the the current situation doesn't exist without the Horus Heresy. But I, I guess I can understand that, right? Like a lot of the uh, intricacies of it, you, you're not into, but like you like it as like a background mythology on how the universe got the way it is. Korean legends. Yeah. I don't need to know. God, like, just pick one of these books. How many millions of fucking characters have they just <laughs> introduced that are just other space marines? And Yeah, and they're no different to any of the... Look at all these fucking guys! Great, oh. One book. Here. Gordianius. <laughs> Someone's going to be like, Oh, Gordianius is my favorite one! Do you remember when he had the book gun and he shot the heretic? Fuck, he was cool! <laughs> <laughs> God, like, love it. You could love it. But if you tune in here, I promise you I'm going to whinge about it. Okay. Well, we don't do have not, to... <laughs> do not care. Do you not have to spend too much time on this? God, and but the it... more you force me to look at it, the, like, the <laughs> anger I get. You know, because I could just ignore it. There's a lot of things in the world I don't like, but I can ignore them, and I don't have to be annoyed by them. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Look, but he's even done like a little key. So the different shape of the box is like whether it's an audio book only or if it's like a graphic novel or like a short story. Just, but just imagine oh how God. much better 40k would be. Okay, right. I've complained a lot. Yeah. I've complained, complained a lot. <laughs> Made some hot takes. Yeah. Imagine if instead of doing all of this, mm. let's say you did a, you did a, a four part story. Yeah. Here we go. Are these all books? Yeah. Okay, right, let's say all of those, you did a 10 book. Oh no, some of these are like uh, short stories. The ones with the corner cut off are short Okay, stories. fine. You have three proper books, a bunch of short stories. Mm -hmm. That covers your Horus Heresy. Yeah. Spend your time on it, because people love it. And mm -hmm. you know, there's some cool stuff in there. Mm -hmm. But then instead of all of these books, let's say you had 10 books, like 10 novels on the towel. Mm. And then over here, oh great, 10 dedicated Tyranid novels mm. and then oh sweet over here i don't know what you could have for tyranid novels outside of like people fighting the tyranids i don't i, I don't know if i i, I, I yeah because like what are you gonna have like a story of like this part of the hive mind versus that part of the hive mind great there's like 15 ones about the elder here's the zerg really spent a lot of time fleshing out all well, those other races i think you'll find tom that quantity has a quality all of the <laughs> Yeah, time. Stalin, he was known for <laughs> his red hot takes, especially on literature. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think you can just wave assault people with, like, real <laughs> fiction to the point where you can drown someone in it. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I think just do more Xenos books. Um... Heretic. I don't think people buy them. They do some. If they were selling, they'd make more, right? This is their fault. <laughs> actually, actually true. The amount of, this is so true for like so many fat fandoms. The amount of fandoms where people will buy the worst slop that they have ever put out because it has whatever intellectual property is attached to it. And the fans just do not care. They can't get themselves to not buy it. They will complain about it endlessly online, but they still have it. They still watched it. They still bought it. And it's like, oh my God. What are you doing? Like you're, you're the reason it's so bad because they know they can push out this fucking low tier crap and you're going to buy it. They can put out low effort crap and you're going to buy it. More Necron stuff. Yeah, I was gonna, I'd get it to that. You know, there'd be 10 Necron books here. You know, ten books on the Gene Stealer cults here. That League of Votan. They can have a, they can have ten. <laughs> Great. Well, they need some law. Cause flesh fuck out, me. <laughs> flesh out all of that stuff. Can uh, someone do a chat G GPT outline a new Horus Heresy novel? No, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay.
There we go. God. That's it. Well, it's now it's coming to an end, Tom. Is it? Yeah. So yeah, but you can surely keep bolting more books in, flesh out more of these characters. It, it's called The End. Well, Volume yeah. 1. <laughs> the End. Cool. Great. <laughs> so it's ending. Finally. Soon. For 17 years of content. It won't be the end. It'll be like it'll be the end, as in it's the, like the final story. But they're gonna like shove in little side stories every now and then because again, it sells, right? They wouldn't be putting out all this crap if it didn't sell. I don't know if that's a great defense. How many streams have we done? Oh, so, can we get a Tom oh. and Ben stream chart? Oh yeah, yeah. Cross reference our rich law. <laughs> We'll have the you know the the centaur thread that highlights all the episodes we talked about centaurs. The one that talks about you know Ron Weasley scales of power. <laughs> it all means in different like overlapping layers. I wonder if anyone's yeah. done that with like Joe Rogan. Next we can have the unification wars. If they if they just I, wonder, I actually wonder has anyone done that with Joe Rogan because Joe Rogan would be a good one to do that with because like the variety of guests he gets on and like before he actually started doing the exclusive MMA podcasts that are all. I guess they're not always MMA. It's always martial arts related, right? Some of them are boxers, some of them are kickboxers, but it's always martial arts related. But before he did that, they were just all main JRE podcasts. So you could do like, a, this is the MMA guys, this is the the boxers, this is the, uh, you know, these are the scientists. You could even break down like the different types of scientists. These are the fitness guys. These are the the politicians. This is like the the weird conspiracy theorist guys. Like you could you could actually probably do a pretty good job of that with the Joe Rogan podcast. Did like a trilogy on the unification wars, or like, mm. uh, you know, very early stages. You know, you've got the Empire Strikes Back, the Dark Book in the middle, mm. and then the the end. I think I could get into that. The unification wars is something I would like to read. Yeah, I don't but want to read a 50 not fifty books. books. <laughs> no, that is too many. That's too many books. Uh, what was it? Someone was telling me about the other day, like some anime that's like on the fifth part of the final season. Oh, Attack on Titan. Oh, yeah. It's just like, the final season, part 12. <laughs> it's, honestly, Attack on Titan is such a good show, but I don't I don't understand why they did it that way. Like, just the way they named it. It's, it's honestly, it's a good show, and the final season only is, like, eight episodes or something. I can't remember exactly how many it is. But, yeah, just the way they named it is so weird, and also how long they dragged it out and the way they did the episodes. Like, uh, it, it's... It's so weird the way they did it, but yeah, it's. I mean, it's literally just like eight episodes of the final season. But they have like the final season, uh, part one, and then part two, and then there's like the second half of part two. And it's yeah, the way they named it is just so dumb. But it really is. It's just one season that got dragged out for a long time. Like they released the second last episode like eight months before the last episode, and the last episode I think is like an hour and a half special. Really good show though. I like that. Um, yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I want I want something concise. I want something that's very good and digestible, not just a fucking endless pile of just okay it's stuff. Just shoveling garbage into your face. I get it, like, you know, you can like it. I'm sorry, I'm just Oh, it's actually out really soon. Uh, Saturday. Just, just overwhelmed. Pre order Saturday. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, there we go. Wow. Man, yeah. Again, the pe most of the people complaining about this are going to be the same people buying it, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know if these guys are. They're obviously 40K fans if they know enough about it to complain about it. But, yeah, I see this with every fandom, right? Whether it be, like, the Marvel stuff or Star Wars or, um, you know, recently in other examples, Pokemon. And this is one I'm guilty of with Pokemon. Uh, you know, the, the most recent Pokemon games, a lot of people didn't like. There was a lot of issues with them, a lot of glitches, and people still bought them, including myself. And it was like, we're the, we're the problem, because they know they can put out this trash. People are still going to buy it. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.